It's no secret that the Mark Twain House in Hartford, Connecticut is one of the most haunted locations in the United States. With a dark and spooky history, this landmark has been said to be inhabited by various spirits, some friendly and some far from it. Originally built by architect Edward Tuckerman Potter in 1874, this Victorian mansion was purchased in 1874 by none other than the famous Sam Clemens, better known as Mark Twain. Over the next 17 years this is where the author wrote some of his most beloved works, such as The Adventures of Tom Sawyer and Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. After Clemens passed away in 1910, the house was used by various owners and eventually left abandoned to fall into disrepair. In 1974, the haunted house was purchased by the non-profit foundation which currently owns and operates it. Though no paranormal activity had been reported during the wreck, things soon changed once renovation began. Today, many of the mansion's employees and visitors report strange events occurring with an unusual frequency. It seems that the spirits of those who once lived in the house continue to haunt the premises. From squeaks and bangs in the night, to mysterious shadows and unusual cold spots, the building is believed to be the home of many spirits, some of which are malevolent. Sightings of full-body apparitions have been reported as well as the eerie feeling of being watched by something unseen. Most famously, visitors have encountered the ghost of Mark Twain himself with some claiming to have seen his legendary white suit as he wanders the house. Others have even said they heard him playing the piano in the music room. Whether the tales are true or merely fanciful stories, there is no denying the fact that the Mark Twain house is a truly haunted place. It is said that the ghosts of its former residents will continue to linger until someone living can remember and honor their legacy.